The Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance said that the U.S. has become the world's leader in Bitcoin mining. CCAF data shows the U.S. accounting for 35% of the global hash rate, which is more than doubling from 17% at the end of April. Kazakhstan and Russia followed the U.S. with shares of 18% and 11%, respectively. China's share has effectively dropped as a. It means that Chinese Bitcoin mining operations had successfully redeployed their equipment overseas. China dominated Bitcoin mining before July and the peak was in September 2019, accounting for over 75% of the global hash rate. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez said, It is a major priority for me because I want us to differentiate ourselves as a crypto capital of the United States or of the world. We are going to request a proposal in October to allow our employees to get paid in Bitcoin, allow our residents to pay for fees in Bitcoin, and even taxes in Bitcoin if the county allows it. In September, he advocated for Bitcoin nuclear mining hub. He said, the fact that we have nuclear power means that it's very inexpensive power. Soares told Fox Business that Bitcoin definitely not worthless. But On the other hand, the CEO of global investment bank JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, said that blockchain and stablecoins can be real, but Bitcoin is worthless. Interestingly, Fidelity Investments Director of Global Macro, Jurian Timmer, said that Bitcoin could reach 100,000 as early as 2023. He explains the Bitcoin rally and which type of investor truly fuels these runs, retail or institutional. He also believes that even though Bitcoin grows, the dollar's hegemony as a reserve currency remains. Thank you for supporting my channel. See you next time.